Hey guys, welcome back to another ArtBeast video tutorial. I'm Milad and today we're going to talk about sidebars and widgets in Jupyter. So what is a sidebar? A sidebar in WordPress is referred to a widget-ready area used by WordPress themes to display information that is not part of the main content. There's actually no difference between a sidebar and a widget area. Sometimes when talking about pages, we call it sidebar, but other times like when talking about mega menus or footers, we call it a widget area. So here's an example of a sidebar on a blog page. And as you can see, we have a search widget, some widgets about recent posts and comments, and a widget about blog categories. Here's another example of a shop page with a search products widget, a price range filter, and a few more widgets related to products. And here is an example of a widget inside a mega menu. In Jupyter, we have lots of predefined widget areas, each ready to to be used for a page, a post, or an archive page. And of course, it's possible to add your own widget areas. To see the predefined widget areas from WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, Widgets. Here you can see the available widgets and the widget areas. To add a widget to a widget area, you can either drag and drop the widget, or you can click on a widget, then choose a widget area and click on Add Widget. You can also rearrange the available widgets, configure them, and save. I encourage you to explore these widgets and if you're interested in more details about Jupyter's available widgets, check out this article in our knowledge base. Okay, so we have talked about how to add widgets to widget areas. Now let's talk about how we can assign them to a page or post. There are three ways to add a sidebar to a page. It can be added inside Jupyter page options or by adding a widgetized sidebar shortcode or if you use the page section element, there's also a setting for this. Let's try this with Jupyter page options first. Here I have a sample page and if we edit the page and scroll Scroll down to Jupyter page options. In layout section, we can choose to have a sidebar for the page. Let's select the left sidebar. Now we can scroll down a bit further and select which sidebar we want for this page. Let's go with page widget area. Now let's preview the page and here's the sidebar. The second way to add a sidebar to the page is by adding a widgetized sidebar shortcode. Here I have a page made with Visual Composer which has a row with a few elements inside it. If I hover over this area, I can choose a different layout for this row. So let's go with two third and one third and add a widgetized sidebar shortcode to the right column. So I just click on this plus icon, search for widgetized sidebar and add it. Similar to previous method, we need to specify which sidebar we want to display. Again, let's go with page widget area, save and preview the page, and here it is. The third way to add a sidebar to a page is via page section. So if you have a page section in your page, you just go to its settings, scroll down a bit and choose a layout and a sidebar. And that's three ways to add a sidebar to a page. The process is similar for posts as well. Now to enable the sidebar for archive pages or globally for all posts of a custom post type, you need to do this inside theme options. As an example, you can go to theme options, blog, blog single posts, and choose a layout for single posts. The same is true for blog archive, search page, portfolio, and so on. Now let's see how we can add a widget to the main navigation menu. I'll first show you how to add a new widget area, and then we'll use it to be displayed inside main navigation in a mega menu. To add a new widget area from WordPress dashboard, go to Jupyter theme options. Then go to the sidebar section, add a new sidebar, and save. Now if we go to Appearance Widgets, we can see the new widget area is added. For demonstration purposes, let's add a calendar to this. We want to display this widget area in a mega menu. To do this, we need to go to Appearance, Menus, then assign a menu item to behave as mega menu. Now all we need to do is add a custom link and from mega menu widget area assign our desired widget area for this. Let's save and here's what it looks like in front end. So as you can see sidebars and widget areas are so flexible that you can almost use them anywhere you like. If you're interested to know more about sidebars and footers or a few tips on how to add shortcodes inside a widget area, check out this article in our knowledge base. Thanks for watching and see you soon.